Hey guys, John Willis, Special Operations Equipment, Colin Walls. We're going to do just a brief history and just touch base on each of the micro rigs that we currently make. And we're going to kind of go in chronological order. We're going to go from first to last as we produce them, uh, why we produce them, and what they were meant for. Uh, from we, we go from the AK M4 micro to our PALS micro chest rigs. So about, about nine years ago, I was getting ready to come out here to Tennessee and look around for a place to live before we moved out here. I got a text on a Thursday from Sherman House, and it was a photo of a drawing on a napkin, and he said, can you make this little chest rig? We want to do, can we do this little rig? We want to include them. We want to put them in with these, these Barrett uh, rifles that are getting shipped. I, I think it was Israel or somewhere. They were coming in a shooter kit, the first 6.8 guns that they were building. And uh, we built this little rig, and it had two mag pouches and a 6x6 zippered utility pocket on it. We flew out here, I built them Thursday night and Friday, flew out here, touched ground Saturday, handed it to Sherman Saturday, and uh, they took it to the range for some Barrett videos and stuff they were shooting, and they, he just loved it. Um, guys saw them, kept wanting to buy them, so we transitioned and kind of made it a little faster to build, a little simpler, a little more straightforward with a lower price point. We built the first micro rigs to have a $100 price point. When we first built them, the first couple hundred, we sold them at $75. It wasn't the be-all, end-all rig. It was built for $75, and when the dust settled, what we had was the AKM4 micro rig. And basically, it was meant for armed citizen, armed law enforcement, active shooter situation, uh, call of a rifleman at a shopping mall, for instance. Officer already has pistol mags, already has pistol, pistol and other equipment on his belt. He now needs a rifle. Out of the trunk comes the rifle. With it comes the micro rig with rifle mags. That's why there's no pistol mags on these things. They are meant to carry four rifle mags and whatever else you can put in that utility pocket that you might want. We meant for it to hold uh, medical equipment, door stops, chem lights, uh, flex cuffs, stuff like that. It was never meant to hold a pistol or pistol mags. You already have that shit on your person. This was meant you know, as the next step up from there. We put pals on the side for tourniquets. We put some pocket smoke loops on the bottom for pocket smokes, which a lot of cops were getting issued back then. From there, guys kept asking for a stripped down version of it to do custom stuff, and they wanted custom this, custom that. So we built a modular one so that they could basically build whatever rig they were asking us for. Like when we're building stuff, we're building stuff in, you know, 100 minimum, 120 pieces all the way up to 1,000. So a guy wants something a little weird, we don't get a lot of requests for, we just can't build it. So we did a modular rig, and now he can configure it however he wants. We had guys going, well I want you know two mag pouches, or I want to carry four mag pouches instead of the utility pocket, so this is what we did. So we have the eight, the eight PALS column, PALS micro rig, and nowadays we make a 10 column as well, and we make a 12 column. The platform, the shoulder straps, the waist strap, the internal compartment inside, it's the same on all of them. The only difference between this is just, just the size. How many columns of PALs are on these things? And across the whole micro rig line, they all have the internal pocket and they all have the same suspension system to them. It's just that these are modular. From there, we did a 308 micro rig. It's basically the same as our AKM4 micro rig, the pockets are just a little wider. These pockets will carry two 308 mags per pocket or three M4 mags. So you can carry six M4 mags in this or four 308 mags on this rig. Utility pocket's the same, internal pocket function, everything's the same, Velcro, everything's the same on it. This rig right here sits just an inch wider than the standard AKM4 micro rig does. To put 308 mags in here, you're going to want to put a piece of foam or something in there to bump those mags up so that you have enough purchase. The lids are still removable and adjustable up and down so that you can adjust the lid to fit the height of the mag. You can put 30 round, you know, the 30 round 308 mags or the standard 20 round 308 mags in here. You just need to adjust the lid. You can still put two AK mags per pocket in here. From there, we came up with the 12 gauge micro rig. All of you guys have seen this. 
you all know the history behind it, why we made it and all that deal. The, the shotgun rips down, this rips out just like so. The only difference in this and our AKM4 micro rig is that this one's set up for shotgun instead of rifle mags. The width, the height, internal, suspension system, everything else is identical. It's the same exact pattern that we use on the AKM4 micro. The only difference is this has mag pouches, this has shotgun. And then last but not least, we took, this is also falls into our micro rig line. It is a little bit wider. This is for N1 Grand, the in block, in block clips. And it holds uh, 10 of the eight round M1 Grand clips. So when this sits here, this Velcro's up, you pull your clip out, put it in the top of your rifle. The ones on the bottom pull out and come down. We did that intentionally because when they came out, if you, if you were in a hurry or being, you know, you're obviously training, if you're being shot at, small motor skills go out the window, you might not have the, the presence of mind to grab out of the top and then grab out of the bottom once the top's empty. So if you went to grab that out of the bottom and that top clip was in there, it was very hard to get those bottom ones out. So we made them come out the bottom. There's no, there's no second guessing that. Then you've got pals on the side. We specifically put two columns of pals here with the intention of putting compact tear off med pouches, smoke grenades, radios on the side. Suspension systems comes with the same shoulder straps, comes with the same waist strap, has the same internal pocket as the AKM4 chest rig. And then the last one we did in the line is for a small machine gun. Utility pockets the same, everything else is the same. This just has four pistol, four subgun mags on here. And these have adjustable removable lids. So you can run, for instance, 30 round Glock mags will fit in here. So when you guys have those chassis for the, for the Glocks or, or any of those conversions or anything like that, where you have MP5 mags or you've got the 32 round Sten Colt SMG mags, those will all fit in here and they are adjustable to whatever height you want that to be. So they'll run. So if you've got those kel that take the pistol mags, this rig will work for that. This rig will not work for P90. It won't fit the P90 mags. It will fit all of your other subgun mags. And that's, uh, that's the micro rigs. So we're just going to show you all the points on the AKM4 micro, the first micro rig that we did that we produce because a lot of the other information on here crosses into all the other rigs that we're going to show you. This is the AKM4 micro rig, which obviously implies that it carries AK and M4 mags. We've got two mag pouches, which will carry two AK or two M4 mags. We built it for AK because as a byproduct, it will fit M4 mags. A lot of guys buy M4 mags from other companies. Some fit AK, some don't. Either way, they kind of half-ass do it. We do them for AK mags to start with, and then they work very well for both. So these lids have a Velcro closure. You have a three inch contact, three by three of Velcro. You have a large patch of Velcro. So if you want, if you're used to running your lids low or you want to run your rig lids high, you can do either. These lids Velcro in the back here and pull out. That is so you can adjust where they land and contact on the front. And also when you're running taller mags, you can run AK mags, which are taller and have a curve to them. You can adjust and fine tune that so that it works perfectly. These lids have a, cha a channel right through here that is left there on purpose so that you can run some 550 or some cord through there. So should you be using this in cold weather or wet environment, you can put a handle on there to where you can grab that more. You're not having to find dexterity with, with gloves on, grab this, this little tab here. Instead, it's got a channel so you can run some cord or something through there, or tubular, so you can get a better purchase on it in cold environment. That was left there on purpose. So you've got these two mag pouches which are identical to each other. On the bottom you have loops here for pocket smokes. A lot of law enforcement agencies are issuing those high concentration pocket smokes that are small diameter that will fit in the bottom. Some of you guys that don't have those, we see guys putting tourniquets, we see them putting cords down there for radios for your wire antenna kits and stuff like that. Whatever you can put in there, that's your imagination. We see guys using them. We intend we put pals here on the sides as well as here on the sides. That was intentionally put there for tourniquet pouches, our Cat 2s, or you can dummy cord, or a rubber band, or shot cord, some Cat 2s, or soft tees, any similar kind of tourniquet will fit there. If you choose to, you can also put a small, a single pistol mag pouch to carry a Leatherman, or a Surefire Light, or a pistol mag. So you guys asking for pistol mags, you can put one here and one here. 
for a total of two. Then we have the utility pocket. It's roughly six by six inches and it's about three inches off the body. There's two pieces of Velcro here with a dead channel and then the Velcro closure runs this way. That's intentional so that when you reach up here you can get your finger in that dead channel and rip this pouch open if you need to. This pocket we find we meant it originally to carry a VOC or a blowout kit. Our pull-out med tray fits perfectly in here and takes half of this pouch so it organizes your shooter kit. It organizes your medical equipment. Beside that you can put a second pull-out med tray if you want a lot of medical equipment. You can put two PMAGs in there perfectly or a full-size smoke. This pocket will also carry four PMAGs perfectly to give you an idea of size. So if you want a two, two, and then four more here to replenish these after you've used them, you can do that. There is a three by six inch patch of soft loop Velcro on the back. So you can put one of our triple pistol mag cards in there to organize pistol mags or multi-tool or Leatherman or whatever small items. You'll also find that this pouch will perfectly fit a 25 round box of 12 gauge. You'll also have a little bit more room where you could put a 4 inch Izzy or something behind that should you choose to do that. Hunting application or whatever you're using that rig for. I just have this folded back here onto itself just to kind of get it out of the way while I was showing you that. This lid here as well as this velcro is long. So you can put very little in this pocket and cinch it down or you can put a lot bulkier items and taller items and still have contact of that velcro. And then the pals on the side of the mag pouches that carries through to the side here as well. So you can put a third tourniquet or pistol mag or small you know, utility pocket right there. All of these micro rigs come with a shoulder strap system, which V's, it just X's in the back here and then has a waist strap. Collins, how tall are you? About two. So Colin, Collins, you know, short for your average guy. And this rig is cinched all the way down, and as you see, it fits in perfectly. We can take a dude that's 6'5 and run these shoulder straps out. You get 30 more inches of adjustment out of these shoulder straps. We've never seen, even, even big overweight dudes, dudes with cold weather gear, it is very, very rare that we've had a dude ask for bigger shoulder straps. We can run these things out enormously. We also make a slim padded H set, which is an upgrade. You don't need it. It doesn't come with it. However, we've never put one on a dude middle of class at lunch break and had him not buy it. It makes it more comfortable. It makes it easier to put the rig on and take the rig off and it allows you to run our hydration carrier because the H set comes across and then has the, the points to attach the hydration carrier at the top. So if you want to run the SOE hydro carrier, you do need the H set eventually in order to do that. And that's, uh, that's, that's basically the overview. Um, leave that rig on. And I'll show you on this other rig here. Basically the same rig. On the inside of the whole entire panel is a pocket. This rips open. There is 3 inches by 12 inches of soft Velcro inside where you can put our tool bag organizer or our 5 round or 5 mag pistol card will fit in there as well. So you can put pistol mags in there should you choose to. You can put other admin type stuff, chem lights, 550 cord, flex cuffs, uh, door wedges to hold doors open or to jam them closed that have already been searched. Um, those will fit inside their power bars, paperwork, whatever you got should you decide to put that in there. We do get guys asking can you put rifle mags in there with a rifle card. We, we recommend you not do it. The rifle mag is still going to stick out the top even if you did it, anything more than two mags right here, the third or the fourth, this buckle in the front is going to be in the way of that. You're not going to be able to get it out. It's, it's just, it's not ideal. If you want, if you need a rig that carries more than the four mags plus the additional stuff you put over here, you really, you don't belong in a micro rig. You need to go into one of the war fighting rigs, the Mookie War Lights, the Frog Rig, or, or any of the other larger chest rigs we make. So that's, that's basically, that's, that's our bread and butter, that's the meat and potatoes of the micro rig line right there. All of the other rigs basically have the same panel, it's just a different pocket set. Suspension system's the same, all the features are the same, it's just what's on the face of it. Hey guys, we got Cody Willis here, and Cody is pretty much, he's in our flagship rig, our stacked micro rig. This is the fastest rig that we make, it has our stacked mag pouches, 
It has a compact tear off med pouch dedicated, so should you need to be worked on or work on somebody, you can pull your med shit off or they can take it off of you and work on you if need be. This rig is also the smallest rig we make at 10 inches across and 7 inches tall. It still fits into our micro rig line, whereas our other traditional micro rigs were 13 inches across and 7 inches tall, so you save 3 inches. The price point's a little bit higher. Price point on these is $225. However, you, you gain a lot for that. You've got the dedicated mesh pouch, you have your stacked mag pouches. Whereas your traditional micro rig, you open a lid and you have two mags, you pull one out, you still have to contend with securing that secondary mag. Filker lid falls down, does a pretty good job of it. What you have here is individual slots for individual mags. So each, each of the four mags goes in its own dedicated slot. This will work for AK mags or M4 mags or any similar type mags. Comes with bungee retention which is adjustable. It is also removable. Both walls front and back of each mag slot is velcro lined. So that you can run velcro retention dot, velcro dot retention on your mags. The SEALs have been doing this for decades. That's why we started putting all the velcro into our mag pouches. What that's for is you take a one inch adhesive dot of velcro and you slap that on your mags on one side. If you put, put it on both sides, you put two inches or two by two square, you'll never get that magazine out of there. It literally is a bitch to rip it out. A one inch round dot or square tab of Velcro is more than enough. It's on the front and the back, so if you have that Velcro on one side of your mag, no matter which way you index that magazine when it's in there or out, coming out of there, it makes contact. That's why we've got Velcro on both walls. So you've got that. Then you've got PALs on the face, so you can run modular stuff on the face here. You can run more mags should you need it, pistol mags, breaching equipment, 40 mic mic, whatever you want to jam on the front of there for military application. While it is in our micro rig, a lot of guys running turret, turret gunners and the Humvees and stuff like that, they were running very small rigs so they can get in and out of that, that shooter port. Then you've got the compact tear-off med pouch right here which many of you are familiar with and we have separate videos on. This will carry all of your, your first aid stuff. Six inch or four inch Izzy, compressed gauze, uh, quick clot, NPA, 14 gauge needle, and so on. It's got a lot of Velcro on it so that you can Velcro it very skinny or you can overstuff it depending what your application is and run even a second, you know, six inch Izzy in there should you want to. And then it Velcros and closes here and then again it's got a lot of Velcro so you can run it super skinny or you can run it out nice and fat and have a ton of shit in there. So that from there it goes on here, just slaps right in place. Then you have this secondary piece right here, the clips closed. Now we get a bunch of these, uh, I guess armchair commando guys. Well, I don't like the red. It, you know, it's a target indicator. Yeah, because that fucking eight pound rifle you're carrying is not a target indicator. And when we built these, these were specced out to have red webbing. We do military contracts, we do law enforcement contracts, all of our high speed military contracts when we first started building this shit asked for red webbing. That's why it's on there and it's carried out. We sell thousands of these. The red webbing's never been an issue. So you have the same suspension system on this rig. You still have the internal pocket on the inside though there's less of it because it's only 10 inches across. And then you have the same waist strap. Now on code you can see it just X's and then has the harness. You can still run the uh, slim padded H set, which is an upgrade to this, which will allow you to run the hydration carrier as well. Go ahead and turn around. Now you, you've ran this rig in class, right? Yes. You got anything to add? Anything I've missed? Anything I'm overlooking? Uh, as for the mag retention, you really don't even need it. When I took the classes, I just put the mags in there and they stayed in there. There was never an issue with them coming out, going prone, coming back up. Uh, so. I, yeah, I would, I would wholeheartedly agree with that, especially mag in the back, mag in the front, just the weight of the mag tensioning off the mag in the back. It holds plus, itself in there. Plus you've got, you know, 70, 75, 80% of that mag inside here. So short, I mean, even prone, it, we've never seen issues with it. Short of being inverted on a rope upside down, those mags aren't falling out of there anyways. And, and yeah, a lot of guys do say that. Any, anything else? Uh -huh. I've never had any issues with these rigs. This is what I've used. This is what I'm going to continue using. Um, I've never needed more. It's always been enough. What um, what classes have you taken with those rigs? I took fighting rifle with these rigs, uh, I believe three times. I haven't taken any other classes with them. I've taken pistol, medical, 
And that's between a thousand and fifteen hundred rounds each class. For me, two. Two thousand each class. What uh, what rifles were you shooting? Uh, the first time I took it, <laughs> I had a ten twenty two long rifle. He built me a custom rig for that. And uh, the second time, I had an AK seventy four. And then the third time, I also had an AK seventy four. I plan to take it again with the forty seven I built. So you've never used it with an M4 though, or an AR type rifle? No, I've never had the chance. Okay. All right, guys, this is John Willis, Cody Willis, um, and uh, this has been our micro rig overview. We will do some videos individually showing guys running these and mag changes and how they manipulate and operate. Uh, in the future, we'll do videos on each individual rig. This has just been something fast we threw together so you guys could kind of get an overview and a little bit of the history. Um, this all started with Dr. Sherman House. Um, he's huge in the gun community here. Huge on Get Off the X. He was attack response instructor. Uh, he's an oral surgeon dentist. Um, bunch of other medical shit in there with that. Um, he's our dentist. He works on many of my employees. He works on all of my family members. And uh, he's in Nashville. You can find him, um, Dr. Sherman House, uh, the people's dentist. And he does, uh, re uh, he's, he's Revolver Science. You guys heard of those guys? That's Dr. House. That's, he's behind Revolver Science. So uh, check him out. And uh, we'll see you guys soon.